Hello everyone once again, my name is Dosmondus. Today we're going to be doing another SCP reading on SCP-1918, Tic-Tac-Toe. So let's get started. Item number SCP-1918, Object Class Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Entrances to SCP-1918-2 have been secured and monitored with constant video surveillance as of March 5th blank. The sewage facility containing three entrances has been quarantined by Foundation personnel and the entrances themselves have been sealed. Workers previously employed at the facility have been issued amnesiacs and replaced with Foundation personnel. All other entrances have been permanently sealed with cement. Description SCP-1918 is an object of unknown composition, located in what appears to be a utility room in SCP-1918-2. It appears to be a plastic mold attached to a metallic rod, and is usually found moving between hallways. SCP-1918 moves on its own volition, although it does not appear to separate from the ground at any time. The object leans in the direction it travels in, and moves at a speed of 5 km per hour. The object applies moderate force to the surface as it moves across, leaving a faint trail. SCP-1918 at times communicates using these carvings. SCP-1918-2 is the designation for the facility containing the SCP-1918 and is located 12 meters below ground level, although the area itself appears to be undisturbed and shows no sign of an unnatural burial. There are 18 identical rooms in the facility, or 9 compound rooms. Rooms are differentiated between a one-room and a two-room, with crude carvings on the floors just outside of the individual rooms. The design of the facility containing SCP-1918 is mostly symmetrical, with a .50 meter wide paths circling each compound room. The only deviations to this construction are the location of entrances on the sides of each individual room, which vary randomly while the facility is active. Hallways in the facility are completely devoid of light, with any light produced being absorbed via an unknown mechanism. Due to this, exploration must be performed via memorization of the facility interior and touch. Sound behaves abnormally within SCP-1918-2 while an event is active. An audible echo can be heard 5 seconds after a sound is actually produced. It is not currently known whether or not SCP-1918 and SCP-1918-2 are separate or identical manifestations as attempts to remove SCP-1918 from, from SCP-1918-2 have been largely unsuccessful. When a human or canine subject enters the essential room, it will become illuminated and SCP-1918-2 will manifest. SCP-1918 will enter the room and, and move across the floor leaving in its trail message either reading tic-tac-toe or memory, maintaining a consistent speed and leaving immediately after the messages have been inscribed. If the subject attempts to exit the room before this, the room will return to its dormant state with the subject and any of its possessions disappearing immediately. Tic-tac-toe. The object moves to each one room, leaving behind X markings on the floors if the room is not already marked with an O in a manner similar to a game of tic-tac-toe. How the subject is meant to accomplish making a mark or understand this process is unknown, as no aids are given. Memory Upon exiting the room, the subject is rendered unconscious by blunt force, presumably from SCP-1918. The subject regain con regains consciousness in a random section of the facility. Success is marked by finding a one room identical to the central room. This event seems to be limited to a time limit as the subject is pursued by SCP-1918 throughout the halls of the facility. The subject wins by marking the correct room with an O. Entering a two room causes SCP-1918-2 to enter a dormant state and what is assumed to be the death of the subject participating. If the subject is successful, SCP-1918 will present itself in the room that the subject is currently in. SCP-1918 will then inscribe new game on the floor and repeat the process with a new event. If the subject is unsuccessful, SCP-1918-2 will simply revert back to its dormant state with the subject participating in the previous event disappearing. History SCP-1918-2 came to the attention of the Foundation after the disappearance of four utility workers in Blank, a small town in Maine. Numerous reports were filed to the local sheriff's department of a metallic scraping beneath the ground, 
most commonly audible near sewage grates. Connection to the SCP to SCP-1918-2 is non-Euclidean, as entrances tend to be kilometers apart from one another. There are currently nine known entrances, including five sewage grates, three utility shafts located in a sewage facility, and one toilet. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe. Uh, suggest any other SCPs you want me to do a reading on. Um, and I will see all of you next time in the next video. So goodbye everyone.